Hey guys, it's me, Shani, and today I'm going to be doing a fall get ready with me. So, you know, we're going to do some fall makeup. We're going to talk about what is on our fall bucket list. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this makeup look and just talking about fall, then let's get into it. I have some makeup I wanted to use. I've really been wanting to use the Gemini palette from Melt. It just seems like the perfect fall palette, so I wanted to use this. Okay, I picked out this dress because I feel like it is a dress that's more summery, but also the colors remind me of fall. I have my coffee. Are you guys excited for fall? Let me know. I don't know, I like love all the seasons, but fall is such a beautiful one and I'm really excited for it. Let's start with the brows. What I already did is I used my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Moisturizer and then the Naked Bee Little Lip Balm, but that's all I've done besides skincare. I'm going to start with my brows, which my favorite combo is the brow liner from Thrive Cosmetics in Serena and then their brow gel in the same shade. I usually just use the brow gel, but today I'm going to use the brow liner and the gel. I kind of just lightly fill in the front and then the tail. are done. If I am a little puffy, it is because I have been crying a lot. Um, my my little cute dwarf hamster prince passed away a few days ago and I have been a wreck. It was just it was just such a hard thing to go through um, because it's never easy. It's never easy losing a pet, but I feel like I was really close to Prince and so it was just very, 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 very tricky to go through. So I have been, you know, just trying to take it easy and I haven't worn makeup in a while. So that's kind of why I am here today wanting to do some makeup, wanting to film because those are things that make me happy. So I'm trying to do that. I'm going to use the Eye Lift Thrive Cosmetics primer and then I'll go in with the melt palette but yeah he was just such a cute little pet I loved having him and it was pretty rough at the end he was he got really sick and it was just so hard to watch and um yeah so I've honestly been just kind of trying to find joy, remember the happy times, you know, and I've been really thinking about fall stuff just because it's like, I don't know, a distraction or something to look forward to. Like I wrote out a fall bucket list of things I want to do just to kind of like get my mind away from the grief and the sadness. But yeah, it just, I really loved him so much and I, I'm happy he's at peace now, but it was just, it was hard. Okay, I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to start with Luna and then go into Lorelei in the crease, but we'll start with Luna. I have always seen this palette and people talk about how good it is, so I'm excited I got it. Perfect perfectly in time for the fall season because I feel like this is just an epic fall color story so I'm excited what is on your fall bucket list we can talk about that I'm taking like a smaller brush and going in with Lorelai. I wonder if that's a Gilmore Girls reference. I hope so. I'm 
But yeah, Prince passing away was just not the best end <laughs> to the summer. I feel like it is never easy no matter what time of year, but I am kind of glad that I have fall to look forward to and you know, I'd love to know what you have planned for fall or what's been going on in your life. I'll tell you some things on my bucket list for fall. I want to first decorate for fall. I haven't yet at this time, but I'm going to. And I also think today I have off from work today. So I think I'm going to maybe go to, um, I might go to TJ Maxx, like Marshalls, Target, and just kind of look at their fall decor and maybe pick up a few things. Okay, I think I like that a lot. I know it's like very mustard, but I feel like it goes with my outfit. And then I'm just going to take, I need like a cream color for the above the brow. So I'm just going to take this Thrive Cosmetics Perfect Eye Palette. I just need the shade that I have hit major pan on just for above the crease. Next, I'm gonna go into polka dot and maybe a little bit of cupcake and then Gemini will go on the lid. So we'll first take polka dot. It's like this nice rusty brown. But yeah, what kind of fall decorations do you like? Are you into the Halloween decor? A lot of people I know are super into that. And I'm into it, but I don't know. I really like more girly fall and Halloween decor. But I feel like that's very hard to find. So maybe I'll get some wooden things and like paint them pink. But still have like the spooky fall vibe. I don't know, we'll have to see. I really like this, it's a little smoky and dark, but I like it. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia little brush and I'm going to take this Alamar primer. I like this one for shimmers, it's just a little bit more tacky. And we're gonna put that where I want the shimmer and then go in with the Gemini color. The only complaint I have with these melt palettes is that they don't have shimmers. I have the Gemini 2 and that one has two shimmers and then this one only has two shimmers. But I love the mattes. I'm just like, why not add more metallics, you know? <laughs> I think this one only has two. Yeah, it only has this one and this one. Oh yeah, that's like super chunky and glittery. I love it. So I'm going to put this all over the lid and then I'm going to go in, I think, with my Thrive Cosmetics brown liquid liner. This is like the only brown liquid liner I have, but I really like it. So we're going to go in with that after. up the eyes I think they look really cute I don't know I'm liking them still probably looking a little puffy but it is what it is I like them um I like the color I just went in with the filtered effects protecting primer from Thrive Cosmetics and then I used my elf poreless putty kind of in the t-zone especially the nose and so I'm all primed and ready for some foundation. What I'm gonna do is go in with, I think I'm gonna do a mixture of the Pretty Fresh ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer, a little bit of the CC Cream from Thrive Cosmetics, and then the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So what I like to do is I'll take probably like two, mm, two-ish pumps of the ColourPop. I like to just mix foundation. That's been my thing lately. Uh, this one, I'll do one pump. One, a little bit over a pump. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hard to show you this. And then I do like one swipe of this on the back of my hand. So that's the e.l.f. product. And then these ones, I'm just gonna mix. 
and let's see if that's a good shade match. Some other things on my fall bucket list, besides just decorating, like I said, is finding a new pumpkin spice type of drink or fall themed drink that I like to do because right now I don't have any, you know, recipes that I've been doing, but I want to do some sort of pumpkin spice coffee drink that I make myself. So that's kind of like find a new coffee recipe, a fall related coffee recipe. And I also want to have a picnic in the park before it gets too chilly. So that's another thing I have written. Um, I wanted to do a fall themed video, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. I think that's pretty good. I think that matches me pretty well and I like the glowiness to it. Next we are going to do cream, blush, and bronzer. So for bronzer I've been loving my Merit Clay Bronze Balm. And then for, I was trying to find like a fall themed cream blush and this one is the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette from Seraphine. And I think that this shade here is kind of an interesting color, so I'm gonna try that one out. But let's just swipe the bronzer. Another thing I want to do is visit a mountainy area. Mountainy, is that a word? A mountainous area and check out the leaves changing colors. That would be really cool, so that's on my list. I want to do a fall event like a corn maze or apple picking. I just called it a fall event that I wanna do because I'm not sure which one is what I'm gonna do, but I definitely wanna do some sort of fall themed event or go to one, you know? I'm gonna next go in with my Thrive Cosmetics concealer, and then I'm gonna set that with my Pat McGrath blurring powder. So I powdered the rest of my face, the T-zone, with the Thrive Cosmetics pressed powder, and then the rest with the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. These are the powders I used. And now we are going to do blush and bronzer and highlight. Actually, first I'm going to do a little lower lash line color. Maybe just with Luna or a mixture of these browns. And then I'm taking the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. It's falling apart, but I'm going to take the, um, the champagne color in the inner corner. Okay, so I just put on some IT Superhero Waterproof Mascara just because I needed to opt for the waterproof today and oh my gosh i'm really loving this i've tried this a couple times before but i really like this i feel like i'm not a big waterproof mascara girl but if i had to recommend one i would recommend this one um it's just a little like sample i had but let's do bronzer blush and highlight and then we are good i'm going to use the wander beauty bronzer Okay, so for blush, I want to try one of the new Thrive Cosmetics Dream Chaser blushes. And this one is in Alexandra, and it's a warm peach matte. I feel like it would go good with this look. So let's try it. Oh yeah. I like that. The only other two things I didn't mention that were on my list is build a fort. I have not built a fort in like forever and I thought it'd be fun to do like a fall themed fort <laughs> with my boyfriend and we watch like horror movies in the fort. I don't know. I think that would be so fun for fall. <laughs> and lastly, I also put plan and buy Halloween costumes. Tell me if you already know your Halloween costume, that would be great. But I'm really liking this blush. For highlight, I'm gonna use this Happy Hibiscus Seraphine little palette. And look, I've hit pan in this highlight color, Dewdrop. 
I really like this highlight and I can't believe I hit pan the other day. done with my fall look what do you guys think i finished off with the ace beauté bpg lip liner and then the merit beauty slip signature lipstick and yeah i like the look i think it's kind of definitely more fall tone than i normally go i feel like i usually go very pink so this is a nice change i am back from shopping and i got just a couple things I wanted to mention. So at Marshalls, I found this two stackable mugs and how cute are they? It's like perfect for girly fall time <laughs> with the pink pumpkin. So I'm super excited. And they're microwave and dishwasher safe. So that's always nice. But I had to get those. And then this is kind of like a spooky book that I've heard really good things about. So I'm excited to read that soon and then some non-fall related things i got the elf liquid poreless putty primer i've been wanting to try this i got this at target and i got this at target as well this was marshall's and then also at target i found this really cute water bottle it is the brand ello and it's super cute and like a baby pink so wanted to share that also now i think i'm just gonna go and decorate a little bit decorate the apartment for fall you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.